and welcome back to Heidi Highs Buys and Live. So I have just tried to record this, but I keep hearing strange noises, like the motorbike next door, and then it's like a window cleaner just came, but I, I can't see him coming today. I can't see anybody. But anyway, um, I'm going to get through everything. I spent £39 in Poundland today. I went with no intention of buying anything specific so 40 quid down um so obviously i did have something in mind but my enjoyment is going to poundland and buying crap basically it is all crap <laughs> but crap that's useful so i'll first of all i'll start with um my screen wash now this was an emergency so when I was driving to Poundland, I go to Court and Wood Poundland. I have some others every everywhere, but I just went to Poundland this time round. Screen wash ready to use, a pound for the big bottle. I want to say it's like a litre or two litres, two litre bottle of the ready to use screen wash. I'll probably use the concentrate that we do have here and just fill it up and put it back in my boot just in case. But I, it, my screen wash liquid had frozen. So my screen was getting really muddy. So yeah, it was a life and death situation. If I had an accident, that would have been my fault because I, I couldn't really see. So make sure you fill it up or check your screen wash before you set off. Next one I bought was this little elephant from the Pep & Co home range. It's just like a, a fake plant and I think it's resin. I can't be too certain. Um, yeah it's it's one pound anyway this and i really liked it i thought that i'd go nice in the bathroom and um, just to add a little bit of foliage in there but yeah that was uh, a nice little decorative piece got some kitchen foil nothing interesting about kitchen foil just they still have the big ones in for obviously turkeys but just some regular kitchen foil i picked up some plain black jeggings these are seven pounds and these are the power fit ones now the no nothing special just plain black i think you can get them from primark about that price or even cheaper but i was there i saw them and i got them so yeah they're always a staple in my uh, cupboard i bought some whew, it's flying around everywhere what i've just pulled out so i bought some floor wipes Oh, the only reason I don't actually wipe my floor, I've got a steam mop, but the quality of the cloths are like really thick and they're really soft and the, kind of like a microfiber cloth actually. And I thought, oh, these would be quite good, but I'm kind of regretting it because fluff just keeps coming off them now. Um, but there's five in a pack. Oh, neighbour started his bike up, told you. Um, there's five in a pack and it was one pound for the full pack. So I thought that was really good um, value, to be honest. Five cloths. Um, but yeah, that's what they look like. So I'll be using them for polishing. I picked up two um, makeup removing wipes. These are the sensitive skin versions, 50p a packet. They're just handy to have in my makeup room just to clear my face off if I have anything um, like makeup and whatnot and I can't be bothered to do the whole face routine. I got some of these, the Skinny Whip Mint Chocolate. I think it's my, oh, Mint and Dark Chocolate Snack Bars. I think these are five sins each. I am back on some new so I just like to pick up these bits and bobs when I'm rooting around so the handy to have in the house so they're there on the same topic of slimming world i picked up the alpine light cherry bite well and the chocolate and fudge alpine bars you can have two of these as your healthy bee um so yeah i've been crumbling them up into yogurts and having that as like a little dessert but yeah they'll they'll go in the cupboard and i'm 100 percent certain i'll get through them I bought a pack of sponges, just handy to have. Tom is an absolute filthy animal and he needs the, the scour bits to get all the diesel and the petrol and whatever off him. And oil, it's just ridiculous, so I like having those to hand. I bought myself some gloves because it's absolutely freezing and these are like a burgundy with a bit of a glitz in them. Um, pound for those, just ladies' gloves. 
I have two bathroom air fresheners. I really like these air fresheners because you can actually smell them um, rather than just squirting whatever. But these are the Blossom and Breeze Febreze um, little bathroom air fresheners. You just pop it at the back. There's a little button. And these are £2 each. So they are quite expensive for them. Um, you can get multi-packs in various places. I think you can get a multi-pack in... B and M uh, for cheaper than buying two separate, but when you're there, you just pick them up, don't you? So yeah, I got two of those: one for my bottom toilet and one for my top toilet. I bought some floss hats. Now you get absolutely loads in there. Does it have a number? Seventy-five pack. So I thought these would be good just to stick in my teeth, and the bottom is good for getting stuff out. Because at the moment we're all using like toothpicks when our friends come over and whatnot. And obviously if you get splinter then you're buggered. So yeah, I thought these would be a good alternative. And I need to floss more. I had braces on for years and years and years and years. And they're starting to get crooked again. I mean, not not the best, but yeah. Floss won't do much, but I need to floss. I also bought on the dental range um, an actual toothbrush head. Now these are an absolute fortune, the toothbrush heads um for oral b i think they're about eight to twelve pound around that range for four heads and i saw this and was like oh my god i need to pick it up and this was a pound so it's still on the pricey range but if you just needed the one boof they're done rather than being out of pocket for having four and then losing them like i do um so yeah that's going straight into the bathroom as well i picked up a reduced dress believe it or not this is two pound but it is so soft. I can't believe how soft this is. It's like, to be honest, it's, it's more of a top, if I'm honest. I'd say it's more of a top. Um, but it's made from recycled plastic bottles, which is really good. And this was actually da -da 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 -da, two pound. It's two pounds. So it's like a burgundy leopard print. It's got the frilled neckline there, as you can see. And it will probably just be like a tunic size for me. But I think that for two quid is awesome. And I can't explain how lovely and soft that is. Not just your like usual Primark ones. It's It feels fluffy. It's lovely. And for two quid, I could not leave that there. So we're on to the next bag. So I've seen a lot of people on the Palmland Association page um, and the Appreciation page. I really wanted the containers, but... They didn't have the tall ones that I wanted, but they had the stickers. Now, the stickers are absolutely brilliant. You've got tea, coffee, sugar, cereal, flour, pasta, rice, spaghetti, bread, sauces, condiments, spices, herbs, biscuits, crisps, chocolate, cheese, fruit, vegetable, meats, meals. I think you've got some on the back as well. Yeah, you do. Oh, dress up, book, books, toys, cleaning, washing cloths, sponges, wipes, bin bags. Oh, I'm loving this. And I think there's a couple more sheets in here. Oh, no. Two A4 sheets. So it's probably both of them. But, yeah, I have some tea and coffee Poundland uh, jars. Now, these, my kitchen is this colour, and I hate that text on it. I hate it with a passion. You can't hardly see it because it's black. And yes, I know these are black, but I think it'll be more visible on there with the tea and coffee symbols than what's actually on it. But yeah, these these are from Poundland as well. I haven't seen the purple one in a while, but yeah, Poundland galore, as I say. So they will definitely come in use. I bought two books because I want to start reading and... How can I explain it? I need to come off the phone. I'm constantly glued on it and I need to get my mind working a little bit better. So I picked up this. Personally, I picked this up because it's pink. It's a nice book. It's hardcover. I like nice books. So it's I Carried a Watermelon. Now, <laughs> no idea what it's about, but I read on the back that the writer of this the uh katie brand she's a comedian she's an actor she does all that jazz and um yeah she's an award-winning writer comedian and actor so i've got a feeling this could be a funny book to read so and again 
I get put off books if I'm not in like into it but the writing in it isn't that bad so I'm looking forward to reading that and then I've got this and again I have no idea what it's about but I love the cover and I feel like this has got more in-depth stories in it it doesn't really say but it's called stay put make a move from lake whatever that is to whatever that is and um, the unholy bible of the new york born tokyo based labor consultant chock a block with mostly fun but some serious beer blast or cocktail party stories and facts for all uh, that's what it looks like and it's quite a chunky book so I don't know if it's going to be informative if it's going to be funny I have no idea but I think it's definitely gonna keep me on my toes for sure but every it's actually numbered I think it could be like little stories hmm and on the bottom of each page it says stay put make a move which is which is kind of weird i think it's trying to make you think of things but yeah two books and they were a pound each and they're in lovely condition um i don't know how much this one was because there's nothing on the back of it and this one was 12.99 when it was at a full price bloody hell so you can drop on sometimes then in here i have foodie bits so we have mix ups i thought with it being new year's eve i can get a bowl of treats out but i won't be indulging <sighs> um i saw these i've not seen these before bliss indulge me guilty free chocolate orange whip bars so I like the skinny whip but um obviously there's somebody trying to counteract and a bit competitive but these are chocolate orange flavors which skinny whip don't have um, again, I think these are going to be about five sins, but I love chocolate orange, love me Terry's orange chocolate. So, yeah, I thought these would be a nice treat. I have some party poppers. These are for when, obviously, the Big Ben strikes 12, and yeah, it's the new year. Thank God. I think we're glad to see the back of this year, aren't we? I bought a bag of sour cream and try pretzels. Just again, just to nibble on. And I bought from Mars Milkshake. This is very religious of me to pick up one of these for Tom all the time when I go to Pound Shop. I picked up two cans because I thought I, I need a drink now. And for the last one, I thought this was the bargain of the day. I picked up a pack of 24 toilet rolls. And these are three ply and I religiously have three ply. And believe it or not, this is £5 for 24 rolls. £3.50 in Aldi for ugh, nine rolls. So this is really good price, if I'm honest, for um, the whole lot. So, yeah. And you get four, yeah, four free rolls. So it's a really good price for a fiver. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Not much on this one, I'm afraid, but some really good bits in there. I'm going to keep going and seeing if I can find bits and bobs. But, yeah, really enjoyed just getting out of the house and going to somewhere. I knew I'd pick something up. Poundland's always religiously. You go in and you find something and it's like, doop. I think if you left a Poundland with nothing in your hand, you'd feel worse. <laughs> But yeah, thank you for watching and also a massive Happy New Year, guys. And I'm, I apologise for not bringing you more videos. It's been one of those years of hectic and very self-loathing depression. And yeah, so I hope you have a brilliant end to 2020 because it's been hard for everybody. Um, so yeah, I hope to see you in the new year on my channel. Keep subscribing and liking and I'd love to hear your thoughts of what videos you'd like to see me to do, uh, creative ones, anything. I am up for a laugh, That put it that way. So yeah, have a good day guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!